Tonight's story is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. Never mentioned amidst today's hoopla, the young boy behind the charges. NBC News has learned he and his family are in seclusion under constant police guard. The accuser still recovering from leukemia. And according to the attorney who brought him to the authorities, waiting not for a payoff, as the Jackson team insists, but justice. The subject of money from Michael Jackson is not on the table. This is a criminal case, and it is going to see the end. Michael Jackson under protection tonight as well. Nation of Islam bodyguards surrounding his limo like the Secret Service. We finally hooked up. He said, you come to New York because he was working on his album. He said, you come to New York, we hook up, and we got... So we finally met, and now it's all because of this kid, Gavin, and he's doing well now. He was, you know, Michael was with him when he's doing chemotherapy and all that stuff, so now he's doing well. He's, he, he doesn't have cancer anymore. Oh, okay. Good to hear. Good to hear. Good to hear. Masada, who testified at the Jackson trial earlier this week, owns a Los Angeles-based comedy club called The Laugh Factory. That's where, in 1999, Masada first met the boy who is now accusing Jackson of molesting him and holding him and his family as prisoners, charges Jackson categorically denies. It was Masada who helped the boy meet Jackson in 2000, after the boy was diagnosed with cancer. And in early 2003, when prosecutors alleged Jackson molested the boy and was holding the family against their will, it was Masada who got a tearful call from the boy's frightened mother, landing Jamie Masada squarely in the middle of one of the biggest celebrity trials ever. He gets cancer, you make an arrangement so that he gets to meet because he wants to meet Michael Jackson. Hurt you? To know that this has, is, has happened and you were part of it? It does hurt. It does hurt. It just hurt to see these people going through this suffering. Everybody. Mm. And I'm sitting up there. I see even Michael Jackson sitting up there. He's going through suffering. Every How would you describe this boy? What, what can you tell us about this boy? He's been described in court as having been a hellion, uh, an out-of-control kid before all this happened? Well, most of the kids, they come into the comedy camp, the Laugh Factory, as soon as they come there, they are underprivileged or they are disturbed a little bit. And they come in, we're trying to help them. And the kid had a little bit more energy, and he's, you know, he's been through a hell of a, you know, I mean, he's, from the time he had the operation, the time he had all of the stuff, the taking one of, his, one of his kidney out, one of his spleen out, I mean, the kid had been going through a hell of a time. And
In less than an hour, Michael Jackson is scheduled to accept an award for his work fighting AIDS, the AIDS epidemic in Africa. Yeah, that award's going to be given out at the Ethiopian Embassy, and that's where Nancy Yamada joins us live now with more on this story. Well, Gruvier and Gordon, considering Michael Jackson is expected to arrive at any moment, we can tell you and show you that it is extremely quiet here outside the Ethiopian embassy. And that's because his fans who wanted to greet him, about a couple dozen of them, are being kept about two blocks away for security reasons. They've been following Jackson around since Tuesday when he arrived in Washington and went straight to Capitol Hill. Over the past three days, Michael Jackson has been the man about town, visiting with a small group of black lawmakers on Capitol Hill and the African ambassadors to talk about combating the AIDS virus in Africa. Uh, who are left orphans because of this, this scurrilous disease. And we are witnessing a human tragedy. Of our we know your interest in the sideshow, but in the central issue that confronts real people's lives, the issue of AIDS in Africa, we are grateful to Mr. Jackson for bringing all of your attention to this critical issue. We now only hope and we now only pray that you will report that more than a dozen African ambassadors were here who are dying from HIV and AIDS. It's also about health. And Michael Jackson will go to Africa on the Pacific basis of fighting the scourge of AIDS and economic development. Yeah. He had hoped to meet with the entire Black Caucus, but we're told all but a dozen members turned him down, saying their schedules were just too packed. Last night, after visiting injured soldiers at the Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Northwest, the pop star was honored at a party to help raise money for AIDS. It was hosted by Deborah Lee, President and Chief Operating Officer of the BET Network. Well, some critics have suggested that Michael's visit to Washington is just a publicity stunt to fend off the negative press surrounding his legal troubles in California. As we take a look at the security measures on hand outside the embassy, we can tell you a grand jury is now considering whether to indict Jackson on child molestation charges. Tonight, though, he'll be honored for his humanitarian work. There is no talk of his legal troubles outside the embassy. That uh, award will be given out in about 45 minutes from now at 7 o'clock. Reporting live in Northwest, Nancy Yamada, 9 News. common denominator. Right. Instead of saying, you know, let's do a head count and see how many children Michael Jackson actually changed their life.